Yep, that's me, Billy Collins, and this is my channel. A channel filled with interviews, motivation, entertainment, and perhaps a cocktail or two. Guys, this is The Collins Project. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Guys, if you haven't already done so, please do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the notification bell and give us that thumbs up. That's right, because uh, you know what? If you don't like the video, give us a thumbs up anyway. If you don't like the video, you have terrible judgment. So. You do. You have terrible judgment. I'm joined with Matt Dodge, my good friend, businessman, ex-NFL superstar. Is there anything you haven't done in life? Succeeded for a sustained period of time. Yeah. But that's coming. That's coming. I think that's, I I think that's good. Men? You haven't done men? Well, who's, well, as Creed said, <laughs> who did not? How, how would you know? How do you know? It's twenty twenty one. Yeah, but so, glad to be here, man. Yeah, so let's uh, let's dive into some topics here. We're diving into Billy. You We're are the most into, fascinating person right now. Oh, it's because I'm living a is it, I'm living a dream. I guess I'm supposed to be. Well, so you've. Uh, Come, so, come out of a, a marriage. I am. So let, let's let's recap here. Matt is happily married. He's got a beautiful uh, son. I am recently divorced and have three beautiful children. So we're kind of like opposite ends of the spectrum right mm -hmm. now. So it's going to be talking about that. What's and I love on? studying what not to do. So I mean, <laughs> I know. And I'm a classic. I'm off. a classic case of what not to do. But um, no, we've been talking about this. Um, for a while because i mean let's face it was it 50 percent of marriages end up in divorce yeah i think i think during COVID it actually went up to 60 something mm. you would think masks would help out a lot of people you know it's crazy you think that I, i've seen many girls that i thought were hot and then they take off the mask and it just it's you know what i was hates. at the i was at the airport in dallas and i was like this is probably what dating in the uh, middle east is like because i'm like everyone is smoking hot but you just see them right here I know. it's and the perfect situation it's awesome so speaking of covid i got a divorce right in covid yeah so that was the worst part i had to sit there and do nothing couldn't talk to anyone couldn't date not that i'm actually not really i'm not dating now and we're we're kind of past it we're so no we want to jump into that we want to yeah. dive into that but let's start okay so before you got married what was your view of marriage was it something you always knew you always wanted to do I, I, yeah I, I i really felt like i would always be married i would always have children but then again you and i both come from a family of five kids yep. and parents that are still together you know after many many years mm. so i guess by you kind of want to emulate that in yep. a certain extent and i always thought i'm gonna i'm gonna get married and i'll have kids which i did and i had kids but i, I don't think i'd ever be divorced right and lo and behold yeah now how old were you when you got married i was see i was 25 25 and F fran um she was your ex-wife sorry yeah um she was the older same age same age yeah okay she's actually older than me oh yeah three months okay but pretty much the same yeah same i mean what age do you stop saying hey i'm remember you're like i'm 12 and a half i'm you know i want to i want you to know i'll be 13 pretty soon like, i know you don't say that like i'll do that now I, you know I'm, I'm 48 and i'll be 49 in august it's not like i'm saying i'm 48 and a half yeah i'm like i'm in my low 30s yeah, it's like, uh, I'm it does, I don't round up yet. I'm trying to. I'm but okay, so at 25, you guys got married. How long until you had your first uh, child? Let's see. Savannah came a year and a half later. Okay, so it wasn't a shotgun wedding. Mm -mm. And you always. Um, so when I envisioned myself growing up, I always had a desire to be a husband, but it was more desire in the pursuit of being a dad. Like I always wanted to be a dad. Was that? Yeah, I, I, well, I'm a little bit, I mean, I always wanted to be a dad. Mm -hmm. I, I love kids and I'm really good with kids. Uh, I knew I was going to have children, especially with Fran because I, we brought one or she brought one into mm -hmm. the relationship. So I actually, when, when I got married, it was a two for one deal. Mm. You know, it was a package and it was called hey, Insta Families. Insta Family. Yeah. Just add water. And then, but it was, it was the greatest situation because of, you know, I've been with Brittany, and she's 
25, I was 26. I met her when she was one. So you, we're, we're talking 25 years of wow. this one grand. She 100% stole my heart from day one. Yeah. And she still has. I mean, we, we were just on the phone with her. Yep. You and know, and full just, disclosure, my younger brother dated my oldest daughter. Yeah. So, which is the one we're talking about. And that's how me and Matt basically work. It's like families. Because yeah. even though they're not together anymore, we still have this close knit. I see his sisters and, mm -hmm. you know, I see his brothers and, so yeah it's strange but it's not it's not strange it'd be strange from the outside looking it's yeah I, I really feel like that like people go wait a minute they're not together it's been all these years so you guys are still close and it's like yeah we're all close it's like yeah i don't hang out with them because of an obligation yeah yeah kind of is i feel bad for you but okay so you had savannah a year and a half into the marriage yeah so i tell people well so you got being getting married is not as big of a change as having a child, but you married someone with a child, so it was like you hit tick both of those boxes right off the bat. Yeah, it was. I was used to it. Mm. I was I was used to the situation, and I know I, I had a friend of mine that said, "Well, aren't you upset because you didn't really have that that first experience?" I was like, I, you know. No, because I had the first experience of meeting Brittany mm -hmm. and being with Brittany and hanging out with Brittany and, you know. And she's so young at that stage, you know, it's, it's, um, I mean, it's not like she's like, you're not my real dad. I mean, she's one. You yeah. Know? If she was saying that'd be pretty impressive. Well, what's funny, what's funny with her is because uh, when I had hair, it's more blonde and I've got blue eyes and Brittany's, she's got light greenish, sometimes hazel eyes, but they kind of look blue sometimes. And she's blonde. Mm -hmm. And we were at uh, the mall one time. We were walking down the mall. And, and <laughs> this lady comes up, oh, my gosh, you look just like your daddy. And I looked up. I was like, you know her dad, too? <laughs> so, when people tell Jackson that Jackson looks like his daddy, I'm like, you've met the milkman, too? Yeah, I always have, like, a joke lined up. For yeah. Me. Men, <sighs> what's the saying? Women marry men thinking they'll change, and they don't. And men marry women thinking they won't change, and they do. And it's like I've, I've talked yeah. to enough guys. So, how, how do you think you changed um, in, the, in marriage? I mean, because I, what's, what's the saying? The, the person you marry is not the same person that you divorce, and that's true for husband and wife. Yeah, so. yeah I, I think if I, to pinpoint something that changed, and I'm sure other people know this too, uh, in their marriages is that you, you almost feel like, for me, it became, I, w I just wanted to make sure that everyone was happy. Mm. You know, and 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 that of me trying to make sure everybody was happy and do whatever they wanted, and and if they wanted something, run out and get it. Or uh, I think I lost sight of because they just wanted me to be happy, and I think I took that for granted. Mm. So I think the biggest change was me being more beta than what I was used to in life. So, and I just took a back seat. And I, that, I, I think that really was, you know, the downfall of the marriage mm. is because I... Do you think he stopped? So when you're single, you're pretty much pursuing what your, you know, as Rich Cooper says, dent in the universe. You know, you've got that ambition. You, you know, you're not distracted by a relationship or kids or, or whatever now there, there was bob ross called happy distractions yeah. i mean there it's not i'll say that in a negative tone but there there is a lot of an autonomy being single free to kind of pursue your your dreams and goals got the whole world ahead of you and um did that change i mean it does it sounds like it it, it has to a little bit it it does a lot actually yeah. i mean you know when you <laughs> So when you get married, you have to not only think of yourself, mm -hmm. because there's now you have, especially in my situation, because I had my wife and then I had a child, uh, you know, my, my stepdaughter with that was there. And I really kind of had to put their needs ahead of mine. Mm. And so all the decisions I made, and I made a lot of bad decisions. I'm not going to, I mean, there's no bones about it you know there's some decisions I made business-wise or 
personal wise that were just terrible and I, I shouldn't have you know have done them like what you know like the store uh you know i would i would start like a pressure washing business or i would want to do you know magic or whatever which i love magic i mean yeah. i still do magic but you know it was things like that 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 kind of distracted me away from them a little bit mm. and i wish i would have and I, it's funny because I, I posted a video earlier, a little short on YouTube about what if. And that, I, I think those are the dirtiest words in the dictionary is what, what if. if. Mm. Because you don't want to be in your deathbed and go, well, what if? Mm. And that's I'm, I'm trying to learn in that, that realm to let all that go because I can't change it. Mm. Because you're going to ask yourself, well, what if I didn't open the store? Mm. What if I gave my wife a little bit more attention? Or what if I said no every now and then instead of yes, ma'am, or whatever? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Were you a, were you a yes man? Yeah, not yes man, but like a yes yeah. man, like oh yeah, um, the, especially especially to them. Yeah, and to Savannah and to Colin. I mean, it's not just those two, but all you know. I was, I didn't care. I there's when I work, I work. I make a lot of money, and a. The reason is because I want them to have the very best things. I would lay down in front of a train for them, mm. just the way it is as a dad. Mm -hmm. uh, but it also turned me into a yes man, mm. and I didn't set boundaries, and I didn't, I didn't stand up for myself, and it just wasn't wasn't cool. So, guys, it's okay to say no. <laughs> I think you know, there's two people in a marriage. It's not just one. And this goes for, for women as well. Don't sit there and just bow down to the other one. You should be on equal playing fields. Mm -hmm. I mean, you all Do bring... Do you really believe that? I believe people bring different aspects to the game. Yeah. I think, I think you have to, has to compliment each other. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's kind of what I mean. It's right. like it's, you have to compliment and work together as a unit to become one. Mm. I'm pretty sure Allison, I mean, obviously she's the better looking one out of the two. You and not for much longer. Well, I'm she's got the well. ex expiration date. That's right. Uh, but I, you know, she brings certain aspects to the, sure. to the table. You bring certain aspects to the table, and your son's going to benefit for that. Right. I really think me and my ex had a really good dynamic when it came to that. We've always been on the same page. Even now, we're on the same page. We have a certain thing, that, certain idea that we want for our children to be successful. Uh, I tell each and every one of my children, all three of them, I'm like, listen, my goal is to make you a better person than I ever was. Mm. That's my goal. Do you think you have the power to do that? No, but if I can lead them down the path to do that and teach them from my mistakes, whether they take the advice or not, I mean, come on. How many people have told you, don't do this, don't do that, and you do it anyway? Right. Don't touch the stove, it's hot. You touch yeah. the stove, you know, yeah. shit. 